So this is the start of a new vlog. I'm so excited. We're actually doing like a kind of secret TBR vlog. That will be exciting. I don't do very many of these ever. But I decided that since I have so many books that I have started and then never finished, I should just do this vlog and it would be so much fun. And I would get so many books done because a lot of these are books that I've read like a quarter of the way through, half of the way through, whatever. And now I can finally finish them, hopefully. So first I'm going to show you guys exactly what books I'm going to be reading. I will go through them. There's four of them. I have many more, so I could always do a part two of this video. But I figured, let's start with four, let's see how it goes. So, the first book that I have on this list is Star Crossed by Minnie Dark. And I am currently 127 pages through this book. And that's about as far as I'm into it. I really enjoyed this book when I was reading it, but I think I read it at the beginning of a slump. And it just wasn't like the right time to read this book. So I think I was also reading it during a time when I wasn't reading a lot of adult fiction. And this is adult fiction. And before, like maybe two years ago, I was really iffy about adult fiction, but now I feel so much more confident in reading it. So hopefully I'll enjoy it even more than I did when I read it the first time. The next book is one that so many of my friends love and I really want to love it too. That's Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I was 183 pages in right there at the start of a new chapter. I remember a lot of what happens in this book so I'm pretty confident that it'll be fine to read. However, I feel like either I was getting in a slump. I feel like that's always the thing. I get into slumps all the time all the time so maybe that was it i don't know i was getting a little bored at this point and i feel like there's just like a lot of just like i don't know maybe it's just that the story was really dense i'm not sure but i do know that i loved an enchantment of ravens i loved that book it was so good and then i was really hoping to love this book as well but you know we'll see how it goes this time around i think maybe i'll like it more now than I did I think last year when I tried to read it so we'll see. The next book is one that I was really loving and then just kind of stopped reading for some reason and that's Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I wish I had like concrete reasons as to why I stopped reading these books but I feel like it's either A I was in a slump, B it got kind of boring, or C I started to read like a new release that I was more excited about and then just dropped these books. So I think that's kind of what happened with this book. I was 224 pages into it so definitely the furthest into this one I think and as you can see that's how far just almost about halfway through. But I feel like I will actually finish and really enjoy this book now because I recently just got done reading two books where a human falls in love with a non-human entity and this is the same thing the main character well there's two <laughs> there's two main characters one of them is a human and then the other is i think a cyborg i'm not sure i don't think he's an alien i'm pretty sure he's a cyborg anyway i was really enjoying this book i thought the world was really inventive i really liked it as a sci-fi which is kind of surprising since i don't love sci-fi but i do love claudia gray so yeah really excited about this one and then the very last book on this TBR is Furyborn by Claire Legrand and this actually has a really funny story attached to it. So if you <laughs> weren't on book Twitter like I think a year ago, I don't remember when this happened, but <laughs> I was actually reading this book when the Jon Snow Sansa Stark discourse was happening. Uh, it was basically this whole drama on like book Twitter with some like authors who admitted that they shipped Jon Snow and Sansa Stark who are like siblings. <laughs> and I was reading this book at the time and this book has a courtship between one of the main characters and I think their cousin I don't remember if it's like a second cousin or a first cousin or whatever but it's like some sort of courtship within this book and I made a joke about it being like oh I'm not like oh this has 
I don't remember what I said. I said something. I I think because Claire Legrand was part of the Johnsa drama, I might have like made a joke. I can't really remember what the joke was, but I kind of was like, oh, I'm not going to read this book anymore, which was not true. I was totally going to read it. And then one of my friends blocked me. <laughs> Someone I thought was my friend blocked me because I said I wasn't going to read Fury Born as a joke. <sighs> she still has me blocked, I checked. But anyway, it's fine. It's totally in the past. I have no hard feelings. I just think it's hilarious. Anyway, I'm excited to finish Fury Born. I was a hundred pages into it. I was, yes, using the dust jacket as a bookmark. Sue me. But anyway, I was really, really loving this book before it put a bad taste in my mouth because of the person who blocked me. That was literally the only reason I put this book down because I was like, you know what? I need to step away from this drama. It's just like not worth it. So I'm excited to get back into this book. I It's been on my TBR cart for so long. I'm just, I'm ready. I think I'm gonna love this book. Okay, so these are all of the books that I am planning on reading in this vlog. I'm so excited and no more rambling. I'm going to get into reading it and I think we're gonna start with Furyborn. I think that's where we wanna go right now. I'm sitting here on my bed next to my baby Yoda. <laughs> he is going to sit with me while I read and then I also have this other baby Yoda, little tiny baby Yoda. So I have big baby Yoda <laughs> tiny baby <laughs> and we're going to read a book here we go that's a bit more comfortable kind of <laughs> yes fury board i'm so ready okay so i feel like i kind of need to give a little bit of an update on my reading what i have been reading how i have been feeling i have so many feelings and um as you guys know i am currently reading fury born by claire legrand for some reason i thought that was upside down in the little uh screen right there <laughs> but i've been reading fury born by claire legrand i am loving this book i am currently let's see how far i'm into it i am 232 pages into this book so close to being halfway through um i've only read a little bit today i kind of want to read a little bit more before i go to bed so maybe we'll do that but i've cried like three times while reading this book which is just absolutely insane i did not think i was going to be very emotional reading this book but for some reason it just has me super emotional and i love it and Oh my gosh, like I just literally love this book so much. I had to put the sequel on my Amazon wish list because at some point when I break my book buying ban, I kind of want to buy this. Um, <laughs> I need the sequel immediately. <laughs> I'm not even done with the book. I just like, I, I know I'm going to want the sequel immediately. So yeah, just kind of want to give you guys an update on, you know, the book, how I'm liking it and it's amazing it's wonderful i did not expect to like it this much but if this is any indication of how well this video is gonna go i have some pretty high hopes and expectations so i'm ready <laughs> so i don't know if you can tell but i am currently on chapter 43 and on page 403 so super excited i think that means i'm about 100 pages left until the end that is what it looks like just very very few pages left until I finish so I'm super excited. I am using my uh, bookmark from Mind Daisies or Books with Leo and I love it it's so cute it's just like a little cat and it's adorable if it'll focus. <laughs> How cute is that little cat and it's so cute because it kind of just like if you put it in it just kind of like sticks out at the top. And it looks like the little cat is like sleeping on top of the book. It's so cute. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on where I'm at. And I'm really loving this book. Oh my goodness. It's like one of my new favorites, I have to say. Okay, so I finished Fury Born by Claire Legrand. And this was a little bit earlier tonight. Um, I wanted just to kind of take a little bit of a break. <laughs> And I ended up watching some of the Taylor Folklore Sessions thing on Disney Plus um, for the second time. And I really love it. So, so good. 10 out of 10. 5 stars. <laughs> but I did want to talk a little bit about this book. I mean, I'll talk more about it at the end of the video. But I finished it and oh my gosh, I freaking loved it. 
it was amazing holy moly the characters the story the magic system and just so many things i loved about this book it was so fast paced and so well written and just so addictive and easy to read and it just completely sucks you into the world and you believe it you believe all of it and i just i loved it so much and i'm so glad that this year i found so many really great fantasy books and this is definitely one of them so i am in love it's so good so good i completely recommend it i can't believe it took me an entire year to finally finish this book so i put up a poll on twitter asking you guys what should be my next read and i kind of gave you all like these little like emoji sets and had you vote on them i will put up like a little screenshot right here and like two of the options were pretty neck and neck the entire time and it was between sorcery of thorns and starcrossed and i was actually really surprised that so many people were interested in the emojis for starcrossed but finally sorcery of thorns seems to have won out so we're gonna start this book i'm really really excited i'm currently 182 pages into it and i'm on chapter 17 so we're pretty far into it you know almost halfway through and i'm really excited about this book basically it's about this girl i believe her name is elizabeth she is super tall and awesome and she works at this magical library where she kind of keeps track of all of these like magical books and I believe that a magical book goes missing and she has to figure out what happened to it I'm pretty sure that's the premise I might need to brush up a little bit on this book I kind of remember what was going on when I left off but I don't really remember a lot of the premise so I might have to reread the summary for this book but anyway I am super super excited about this one I hope that I like it because I did love um, an enchantment of ravens so so much so I'm really really hoping that this one is just as good so you know fingers crossed I'm going to start it and then I will probably update you guys more tomorrow so I look kind of like a hot mess but I just kind of wanted to check in with you all and I also was realizing kind of today that I don't think that I necessarily gave the best introduction to this book but basically I started to read this book back when it had been first like released. I was super excited about it and I ended up reading I think about a little over 100 pages around 200 pages I can't remember how many pages I read of it but I ended up feeling like it really wasn't for me and I was really bored by it I don't know why like the beginning was just kind of like meh I just couldn't keep my focus for this book for some reason so that's why I'm rereading it or that's why I'm like finishing it and I feel like from reading what I've read now of this book it's actually pretty good. It's a really quiet fantasy. It's a lot more like intrigue and stuff like that, which typically I really enjoy in a fantasy. So I was kind of surprised that I really didn't like it at first, but I think that it really just was me being in a slump and not being in a very good like reading mood. So I'm just gonna blame it on that because I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm really liking Elizabeth as a character. I'm really liking all of like the things that she has to do in order to like figure out the truth. And I don't want to go too much into what the book is about because a lot of what I'm reading right now is kind of spoilery, so I don't want to spoil it. But <laughs> I am really enjoying this book so, so much. And I don't know, I'm just really enjoying the way that this fantasy world is created. I'm enjoying a lot of like the aesthetic of the book, the vibe. <laughs> and I know that's kind of vague to say, but I am really enjoying it. I'm really liking the writing style. It's a very like quiet, simplistic writing style, but it's also very impactful. And I feel like you really get a sense of Elizabeth's personality through the writing style, which is surprising because this is written in third person, but it's so well done that it almost feels like it's written in first person. It's so personal. So I'm really enjoying that about this book. And yeah, I feel like I don't really have too much else to say because not a lot is happening. It's not like a super action-packed book like Furyborn was. It's definitely a lot quieter, a lot more. I don't really know how to explain it besides just it being quiet which i don't know if that's a super good description of this book 
but I feel like if you've read it you kind of know what I mean and if you haven't read it then <laughs> just know that it's the opposite of high intensity and really like a lot of you know action-packed scenes um, you don't really get that in this book. It's really about libraries and books and uh, demons and things like that. So <laughs> uh, not very action packed, but I'm really liking it. And I'm really glad that I'm liking it because I really didn't want to dislike it. And I know so many people that do love it. So that makes me really happy. And I'm going to go to bed. I am currently on page 232. So I am that far into it. I've currently gone past the halfway point, which is good. And my goal is to finish this book tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I really do want to finish this book tomorrow. And I'm hoping that I will finish the next two books by Tuesday at the latest Wednesday. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you all on that. And I'm really enjoying this book. So hopefully I can finish it tomorrow. Also, it's a standalone, which is really great because Furyborn has been on my mind all day and I cannot stop thinking about it. And I just need the sequel immediately. I want it so, so bad. Nothing left to see You left me in the dark now And I'm blended with disease So, currently, I am about to read some of Sorcery of Thorns. I tried my best to clean up my room today. Also, I don't know if you can see in the background, my lights are on, the lights that are like around my bookshelf are on. And yesterday we went and got our Christmas tree and we decorated it last night, which was really fun. I didn't film any of that, I probably should have, but just didn't really think of it in the moment, I guess. <laughs> but I did make my bed, I need to do laundry as well, but Everybody else is doing laundry today, so I kind of have to wait for that maybe either later or tomorrow, so we'll see. Anyway, like I said, we're going to read some of Sorcery of Thorns right now. I am currently at page 232, that's where I left off last night, which means that we are just a little over halfway through this book, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Like I said, we're kind of matching today with like the green of the cover and then the green of my sweatshirt, and super cute. <laughs> But I'm really excited and I'm hopefully going to finish it tonight and if I can't then hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow morning and we'll just see. I'm also drinking my Starbucks right now and this is in a cup that I got from Michael's. It was like half off and it's so cute. I think it's like five bucks. And this has an Irish cream cold brew in it and I love those and I'm so happy that they brought them back to Starbucks because they are really really good. Okay so I think that that is everything I wanted to update you all on. And we are going to read a bit more of Sorcery of Thorns and I will check up with you guys if I have any more thoughts. Nothing left to see You left me in the dark now And I'm blended with disease oh, What'd you do to me? Maybe it's my dignity You made me rip that all apart now No remedy And I'm like I Oh Hey Oh I Don't know So 
Um, sorry about this really bad angle, but I really don't want to hold up my camera at the moment. I'm very upset. <laughs> and this has nothing to do with, like, <laughs> the video that I'm filming currently. Like, the one that you're going to be seeing this on. This has nothing to do with that. <laughs> I spent today getting ready. I did my hair did my makeup I don't think you can tell and literally getting this video together picking out the books figuring out what I was gonna say and I was deleting some pictures from my camera and I accidentally deleted half of the video that I filmed today half of it literally the first half of the video I am so upset right now like I'm so angry I can't even like I haven't even processed it yet because that's how angry I am like I don't typically do this like I don't typically delete my videos on accident like this is like almost never happened to me I think it might have happened once but I'm not usually that thoughtless <laughs> so I'm literally just dying right now because like now I have to film it again tomorrow so you know we're just gonna have to do that that's whatever um I did recut my bangs um to make them just a little bit thicker because they've been looking really thin lately and i've been really jealous of taylor swift's bangs because hers are so full and i figured why not do that to my hair i don't know why my hair looks so light in this lighting it literally looks like it's a light brown right now it is not <laughs> i have really dark hair so this is very strange to be seeing it so light anyway now that we have gotten through that whole ordeal that is over um i'm still listening to evermore evermore is that bitch honestly i kind of wish that i would have filmed a reaction to it because i think it's my favorite taylor swift album <laughs> um i just need to talk about it for a second because i have not talked about it at all um i'm i think i like it more than folklore holy shit like these songs i'm gonna tell you my favorites um this is in no particular order i love the first five songs on this album are so good it's one of the best sequences she's ever had on her album and it goes willow champagne problems gold rush tis the damn season and tolerate it like literally some of her best songs of all time um i also really like dorothea Coney Island, Ivy, and Cowboy Like Me. And then I also really like Marjorie, Closure, and Evermore. There's only two songs that I'm not a huge fan of, right? Is there two? No, there's there's three. There's three songs that I'm not a huge fan of right now. I do like No Body, No Crime, but it's not one that I'm like, oh, I have to listen to that right now. I'm like in the mood. No. <laughs> like I play, I don't skip it, but you know. And then happiness i i like happiness when i'm like towards the end of it but the beginning i just don't like of it and then long story short i just kind of gloss over like i don't skip it but i don't even register that it's playing when it's playing if that makes sense so yeah um <laughs> i think my favorite song though is ivy um i really love tis a damn season and tolerate it like tolerate it has been murdering my soul today um, same with I love Gold Rush and Champagne Problems. Oh, so good. And then the music video to Willow, like that's literally my brain. Like I love it. So good. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've been listening to. We have Baby Yoda right here and you know, he'll just, he'll sit on my lap for now. Um, I got him at Walmart if you're wondering. I've also seen him at Target, but he's cheaper at Walmart. So <laughs> If you're looking for like a good squeezable like a good sized baby Yoda this is it because it's like the perfect size for holding and squeezing <laughs> um, anyway I'm currently reading Star Cross I feel like I haven't updated in so long I finished Sorcery of Thorns freaking love that book I can't remember if I updated on that one five out of five stars amazing it's just gorgeous and like I think I needed to kind of let it sit for a little bit and like just to decide the rating that I wanted to give that book because for a little while I was like stuck between a four and a five but now I'm like okay five stars five stars so good 
five stars to that one, five stars to Fury Born. Now we're on to Star Crossed. I just want to tell all of you that I do not think that this book will be getting a five stars. I, I just need to say that because I am not enjoying it at the moment. There are parts of this book that are like gorgeous, like Taylor could have written some of these parts. And then there are other parts where I'm just like, we could have cut this out. Like we did not need this. And I feel like this happens a lot with adult fiction. And it doesn't matter if it's like adult romance or adult contemporary or whatever. A lot of adult books have like at least 100 pages that could be cut. Or like 100 pages that could be condensed into maybe like 50 pages or 25 pages. Like there are so many books like that. Like I was just rewatching some of my old videos and I was talking about Red, White, and Royal Blue, and that book also, as an adult romance, <laughs> there was like at least 100 pages that could have just been cut out. And same goes for this book. There are just so many tangents that like, I don't care about. I feel like it's kind of trying to do the same thing that The Sun Is Also a Star did, where you have the main couple that you're following. Do you really care about them? And then you have these other really interesting little storylines of other people that like they meet or they come into contact with and you get to hear teeny tiny snippets of their story. And it, and it adds to this, you know, overall theme and this overall storyline that is so poignant and so rich and it just hits you in your heart. <laughs> I feel like this book is trying to do that unsuccessfully. It's trying to add in these long <laughs> snippets of other people's storylines and I don't care. I don't need five pages about some random character that we're never going to revisit and that doesn't matter to the main plot of the story. Like I get that it's trying to show how the main character's actions are affecting other people but it does not need to be that long and I don't even think it needs to be that many times like I think you could add this in maybe three four times not every other chapter <laughs> so that's a big problem for me um I'm halfway through this book I am currently on page 147 so that's almost halfway through it's really close and it's I'm having a really hard time connecting to these characters like I don't care about the main character she doesn't have a lot of a personality she seems a little weird I don't know like she's just so dry and one-dimensional she's boring um and then the guy that she's like in love with is also boring I'm like you like this guy he's like stale dry cereal like he is not interesting he's not cute like I mean I'm sure he's cute maybe I don't know um, I can't see him, but like, I just, I don't see it. So, um, I don't think baby Yoda sees it either. Like he is not impressed by this book. So yeah, um, I'm really disappointed and we'll see how far I get into it. If I end up feeling like I don't want to finish it tonight, then I'm just not going to bother and we're just going to DNF it and that's fine. So we're going to give it one more chance and I'm hoping that it's just because I'm not in a contemporary mood. So maybe that's why I'm not liking it, but genuinely I have some huge issues with it. So nothing like problematic. It's not a very like problematic book at all. It's just kind of boring. I don't know. It's just like really boring. Also, if I sound like congested or like I have something stuck in my throat, I just ate half a pint of ice cream and it's not, um, and it's just full dairy. <laughs> so that was a mistake. <laughs> um, I'm not supposed to like eat dairy like that a lot. Um, it's just so bad, but I really wanted ice cream so bad. So um, I just kind of have to deal with having like a clogged up throat, which is great. So we're going to be drinking some water. I have my water right here, filled it all the way up. We love it. Also, I think it's kind of funny that the video that I filmed today that I ended up accidentally deleting, I filmed it without my glasses on. So maybe that was like a sign from the universe telling me that it was just a bad video and I didn't look cute. <laughs> I don't know. I look so weird without glasses on now. Like whenever I see myself without glasses on, especially when I have like my makeup and hair done, I'm like, who is she? 
who is she like who is that like I, I've never seen her before like I look like the most beady eyed little rat without my <laughs> without my glasses on um so I just had to say that <laughs> um I think baby Yoda agrees he has these huge eyes so you know we're kind of like matching um <laughs> because look at this who is she who is this like who is this like I've never seen her before I've never seen her before um so yeah, I just, I think that, you know, on, on top of me seeing way better, like a hundred times better with my glasses, I think I also look better. So uh, Taylor agrees. We have, oh, also I, I printed this out. <laughs> I took this picture from the internet and I printed it out. I love it. It's so gorgeous. It's from the Willow music video and oh, just gorgeous. Um, I also need to put this up on my wall. This is a Raylo picture that Zoraida Cordova gave me. <laughs> it's Raylo. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. She literally sent it to me with the arc that she sent and like the other books that she sent. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I want to put it like right here. I think that's a really good spot for it. Um, gorgeous. We love it. And I don't have any Raylo over here, so I feel like I need to. All right, so I have my headphones. Um, my friend Emma got these for me for Christmas. And I love them. They're so cute. They're so comfy. I had these on my wish list and she bought them for me. I love them. They're so cute. Super excited. We're gonna have a little cuddle with Baby Yoda and read a book, listen to some good music, and I will check up on you guys later. <laughs> okay, so I decided that we are just going to DNF this book. I don't even want to look at it or think about it. I... I will admit that I flipped through some of the later pages towards the back and read some of it and was just like, Ugh. no, I don't want it. I genuinely don't want anything to do with this book. I don't want anything to do with it. So we're taking the bookmark out of this book. If I can get it, we're done. We're done. Throw it away. We're done. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read right now. So we will figure that out. Um, yeah, I hate this book so much. I don't like it. I don't ever want to think about it again. I'm like literally looking at my shelves right now and I can see at least like a dozen other books that I would much rather be reading. And that is just not one of them. I do think that we are going to continue reading the rest of this TBR, which is just one other book, and I'll go grab it. It's Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray, so we are going to go grab that book. We'll read a little bit of it. I do have some hot chocolate that I'm drinking currently in my cute mug from Target, so I think we're just going to read some more of Defy the Stars, try to finish it at some point, and then this video, this vlog, will be over. I'm very excited for it to be over. Okay, so update for this vlog. I think that I might be ending this vlog because I just am not in the mood to read the other book that I'm supposed to be reading, which is Defy the Stars. I'm just not in the mood for it, I'm so sorry. And I really just wanna read something different. I actually have a book I wanna read in the background. You can see it, it's right there. It's uh, Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. <laughs> So I feel like that's a book I'm going to read next. So with that being said, I did want to go through the two books that I actually did end up reading. That is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I gave this a five out of five stars. Holy moly, this book has changed my life. I cannot stop thinking about this book and I'm just so, so, so excited for it. I loved it. I really wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, especially since I had kind of you know, been away from this book for about a year. So I wasn't sure if I would remember everything and I wasn't sure if I could get back into the story easily, but it completely proved me wrong. Like I decided to start over the chapter I had been on, but it just like everything came back to me immediately when I started rereading the book. I was just like, holy moly, like this is just like, it never left. It just never left. I was really excited about it. So I loved it. Oh my gosh. And I love Eliana and Riel as characters. Like I can't really relate to them. They're way more badass than I could ever be. 
but they're still so much fun to read about. They are so much fun to read about. I love their different personalities. I love how their histories intersect with each other. It was so much fun kind of like getting all of these little reveals towards the end and everything was like weaving together and coming into place and it was so much fun. And some of my predictions did come true but in like different ways, like ways that I wasn't really expecting. So that was also really exciting. And I don't know, it was just kind of fun to have like this fantasy book where there's a lot of things that you need to figure out. It's almost kind of like this mystery of like, how is everything going to fall into place? How are these characters connected? Like, how is all of this, you know, happening? It was so good. Oh my gosh. And the writing was beautiful. The characters were so well developed and so complex. I loved all of like the history and the political intrigue and the, you know, like the magic system and, you know, the magical sort of politics. It was great. I loved it. So amazing. I cannot wait to get to the sequel. And I think I did mention that I also do have the sequel. I have Kingsbane and then I also have Lightbringer. So my friend Emma bought me these three books also a line in the dark. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I might not have, so I, I just wanted to mention it again. <laughs> okay, and so the next book that I read, which is technically the last book that I read, <laughs> is A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Oh, it's just A Sorcery of Thorns. Um, I love this book as well, five out of five stars. <laughs> I was really hesitant giving these books five out of five stars, you know. I feel like the longer it's been since I read these books, the more I love them. So I just decided we're just gonna go with five stars for both of them. I love this book so much. I'm so excited because when I read it, I wanna say last year, I don't remember when did this come out. I think it should probably say on the inside of the book. I should know that before I start talking about it. Okay, yeah, it did come out last year. And I remember when I tried to read it, I think I might have gotten a little over 100 pages in, almost 200 pages, and I didn't really love it. I was really bored in the beginning, even though like it was really interesting and I liked the characters, I liked what was going on. I just, for some reason, I might have been in a slump. I was just like not vibing with this book very well. And it just wasn't what I had wanted to read at the time. But now that I'm in like my fantasy game, I am like all about fantasy right now. This was perfect and oh my gosh, I loved the romance. It was so sweet and so just like, I don't know, it was so good. And like this fantasy book was so much fun to follow up to Furyborn because like Furyborn was very like action packed, a lot of magic, a lot of fighting, a lot of stuff like that. And then you have Sorcery of Thorns, and yes, it has magic and it's a fantasy. It's not a super like action heavy book. So it was really fun to kind of have like a little bit of a palette cleanser after Furyborn. And I just, I loved it so much. It was such a good book. I love that we had some tall girl representation. <laughs> I am tall, I'm 5'10", and so it was really cool to like have another tall girl like being a really cute romantic like sort of thing and then also her like love interest is like pretty much the same height as her like there there's no real like big height difference or anything so that was fun i just i loved it i thought it was so cute and you know if you liked her other book the enchantment of ravens I 100% recommend this book. I almost think, I think it's better actually. <laughs> I gave An Enchantment of Ravens, I want to say a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. However, I think that this one is a little bit better. It might be because it's longer so there's like a lot more to explore in this book. And I do kind of wish An Enchantment of Ravens was a little bit longer because I wanted to live in that world a little bit more. But I feel like we got that in this book. Like, this book kind of made up for it, and I love it. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I love this book. Okay, so these were the two books that I read for this little vlog. I had a good time. There are so many books, though, on my shelves that I can definitely do, like, a part two of this kind of vlog. Maybe I won't try to do four books. I think maybe two or three would be, like, a good deal. Um... It might be a little bit easier than trying to do like four whole books. 
months, especially since like these ones kind of tend to be pretty long. But if y'all are interested in me doing a part two to this video, like another one of me reading some books on my shelves, on my TBR, whatever, that I kind of sort of DNF'd. <laughs> so if you want to see more of this, let me know. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads. Also, I will have my TikTok information below because I have been kind of getting into TikTok. <laughs> and I'm going to go read a little bit of Kingdom of the Wicked, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video or vlog. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely want to do... <laughs> I just got caught... I just got my hand caught on my charger. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next video or vlog. I definitely want to do some more reading vlogs, so you'll probably see more of those. Bye! <laughs> Ooh, I thought it'd be me and you. Uh.